This is Kim Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the weigh-in here for Crypto Fight Night, live tomorrow night here in Dubai. I'm joined by Amber O'Donnell. All right, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all good. I wasn't sure if you were fighting or you were last-minute replacement, didn't know what was going on, but doing a bit of promo work, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of interviewing tomorrow, um, like post-fight and stuff. I've been doing interviews throughout the week, and I'm also doing a bit of Ringo stuff, but that's a bit against my will. But <laughs> Multitasking. I am multitasking, yeah. <laughs> now, for, for viewers at home, and we get a lot of stick for doing all these kind of interviews with influencers and etc, etc, but we do it anyway because we've been doing it for a few years now, so it is what it is. If you don't like it, then just go away. Um, but you, you're a bit of a, a, a history maker on IFL TV, and I'm going to explain why if you don't know. So, across all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube predominantly, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, the most viewed video ever in 13 years features Amber O'Donnell, which reached, I reckon, I think it was on about 33 or 34 million views, which is absolutely insane. But I'm gonna let you explain for people that don't actually know why that video reached those numbers, why that was the case. So I took a bit of inspo from Ebony Bridges. She always wears lingerie at her weigh-ins. Um, and I thought, I'm going to give that a try. So I wore the lingerie and, you know, me and my opponent, we were on like the undercard, so we thought we need to stand out a little bit here. So we decided to kiss at the weigh-in. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> so there was um, a boxer called Dave Allen. Do you know, about, do you know who Dave Allen is? Um, For... I probably do. I'm better with faces than I am with names. So Dave Allen is, um, I don't know if he's a retired boxer now, from, from Yorkshire. Um, he held like the biggest YouTube clip that we ever did from a weigh-in as well, actually, where uh, basically, I think, I'm not 100% sure if this is the case, but he's stuck a, a sock down his pants okay. and the video got like 16 million on YouTube, which is like it's extraordinary. It's our biggest ever YouTube clip. But then you come along on Facebook and you kind of double that, which is which is mad. Hey, it must be a Yorkshire thing. I'm from Yorkshire too. We must be just good at it. There must be something in the air over something there. In the water. It's but, like Yorkshire tea. <laughs> possibly. I was going to get Dave a little trophy last year. I will still do it this year to say like, but now I think that Dave needs to get one and so do you, yeah. Yeah, I think I deserve one. Yeah. Maybe do a male and female one. We can't do that. It's 2023. It's okay. got to be... It's got to be the same, but okay, no, just well, just do an overall one then and give it to me. <laughs> I think we'll do that. Um, so you were last in action on that Kingpin card back in the summer. Yeah. So now I'm assuming you're going to fight at the first part of 2024. Yeah. Uh, names that have been mentioned for you are people like Astrid Wet, etc., etc. Yeah. Is that a fight that's a realistic chance of happening? Um, I, I mean, I'm down to fight anybody. I needed a bit of a break after my last fight. Um, my past two fights, I fought about two or three weight classes above what I was meant to be fighting at. Um, so I, I, I did struggle really, really, really bad. Um, so I had a bit of time away and now I want to drop weight and come back in stronger, um, actually fighting people that are my uh, correct weight category. Um, Astrid Wet, I've called her out multiple times, but she doesn't seem to want it. She doesn't respond. Um, I don't know if it's because she's scared, probably. Um, but yeah, I, there's so many people that I'd be so happy to fight um, that are in the lower weight categories, but everybody seems to ignore me. Nobody wants it. Okay, well, I'm sure this kind of video will filter through to Astrid at some point. But, um, but yeah, obviously for this year for you now, obviously we're closing out nearly in December, pretty much next week. So this year is pretty much written off, but next year it's full steam ahead for yourself. I think so, yeah. I think early next year I'd really like to fight. I'd like to go on the Misfits card, um, so that would be that would be really good uh, for me. I think that was always like a little personal goal, was to get on Misfits and like kind of use um, Kingpin as like a stepping stone into the scene. And now I'd like to be, I would like to be taken seriously. And, and you know, I know what us influencers get so much stick, but I've been training really hard. I've got a new coach now. I train with um, bare knuckle boxer Rico Franco. And I, I do put a lot into this, so I would like to be taken seriously and, you know, go out there, actually show what I am capable at when I fight at my own weight. Um, and, you know, just kind of, I just want to redeem myself more than anything. Okay, well, listen, we're here in Dubai, obviously, just finally ended the fight, so, kind of take your fancy. Obviously, you've got Aaron Chalmers fighting up against, um, fighting up against? 
Warren Spencer. Um, yeah, it's kind of a lot of these guys I'm not too familiar with in kind of the trading world, etc. But um, yeah, they're all up for it by the by the looks of the way. In. Yeah, um, I've been speaking to Warren and Aaron backstage, both so lovely. That's going to be a hard fight because I like them both, so it's hard to pick who I want to see win. Um, but there's also a guy, he's called Tony Curtis, he's only 17, and I watched him at the Open Workout, and he is fast, like really, really impressive hands, and he's fighting someone that's 27, so 10 years older than him. So I'm really excited to see that one because he's a professional at 17. Like, I think that's dead impressive, so I'm excited to watch him. Yeah, people at IFL are very familiar with uh, Lightning Junior. We interviewed him when he was about, well, he looks about nine, but he was probably about 13 or 14 when we actually interviewed him before he even had his first professional fight. So we're aware of uh, Lightning Junior, and yeah, he's doing his thing. I didn't know his opponent was 10 years old yeah, than him. He's 27, so I, I said to him yesterday when I was at the open workout, I said, do you think that'll cause you any problems? And you know, he seems so confident. Like he's not phased at all by the age difference. So I'm excited to watch him. You know, he seems game and it'll be a good fight. I know. That's quite mad, isn't it? Because like normally in just any wake of life, a 27 year old who was like up against a 17 year old, you'd think that's a child and like, I wouldn't I, fight that person. Yeah, yeah, I would be literally stressing so bad about this if this was my situation so credit to him because i won't be able to do it amber thank you very much for your time uh, i'm sure we'll catch up with you when you've got more fight news and uh, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish astrid wet stop ducking me <laughs> loud and clear thank you very much amber o'donnell <laughs>